Six girls from Afghanistan are in the U.S. this morning to compete in the International Robotic Olympics. It follows an extraordinary journey from their war-ravaged country to Washington. Supporters gathered at the airport to greet the team when they arrived this weekend. Chip Reed in Washington shows us how the girls overcame numerous challenges. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. You can see behind me kids on the steps of Const Constitution Hall waiting to go inside for this competition. You know, in Afghanistan, it can be dangerous to per even pursue an education for girls. And these girls were told as recently as last week that this trip would be impossible. More than 50 supporters, mostly strangers, showered the girls with flowers and hugs when they arrived Friday night. Competitor Somaya Faruji was overjoyed. She told us, quote, I want to thank everyone who greeted us, welcomed us, and didn't forget us. The team has faced adversity from the beginning. They were supposed to receive a box of building materials from the U.S. months ago, but terrorism concerns blocked the shipment's arrival. So the girls scraped together the materials themselves and built their robot in just two weeks. Then the girls traveled 500 miles to the embassy in Kabul to get their visas. Twice, they were denied both times. They were devastated, but last week, President Trump authorized the visas the girls needed to travel to America. They were deeply grateful that they and Afghanistan were not forgotten. Team Afghanistan. Now the girls will compete for a medal against 162 other teams. Afghan Ambassador Hamdullah Mohib says the Afghan people will be watching. Seeing them and seeing the talent that they represent gives us the hope that Afghanistan has the potential to become a stable and prosperous country. It's still unclear why the girls' visas were initially uh, refused. The State Department says they can't even discuss it because of privacy concerns. And by the way, Afghanistan is not one of the six nations included in the president's travel ban, but five of those nations are represented here. They are Syria, Iran, Libya, Yemen, and Sudan. Pretty amazing. Pretty Diana? amazing indeed. These girls continue to find the odds. We wish them all well. Chip, thank you.